Hey, this is Aaron at Square Thunder, and we design all kinds of awesome stuff to help companies grow, whether it's brand strategy and logo design like this, or graphic design for other printed materials or things online. We can make you look awesome. So if you need to be in touch, find us at squarethunder.com. We'd love to help and chat with you about your project. Have you ever been to Ethiopia? I had the opportunity to go there back in uh, the end of 2008. I took a team to help out with some missionary work there. And it was a really exciting adventure to travel halfway around the world and see how things are over there. My sister and her family were living there at the time, so we got a chance to visit with them and help them out with some of the work that we're doing. When I was there though, I didn't get a chance to try Tej. Tej, Tej, T-E-J. That's a random weird word today. It's the name of an Ethiopian mead. In case you don't know, mead is a fermented alcoholic drink brewed with honey and the fermented sugars in there. And Tej is made with a particular kind of hops that are grown in Ethiopia and Eritrea, that kind of area of uh, Eastern Africa. There's archeological evidence that it was made about 9,000 years ago in what we know as China. The ancient Greeks used it as an aphrodisiac and in fact Hippocrates prescribed it as a way to um, enhance uh, vigor, I guess you will say. Mead is found in all kinds of cultures all around the world. It's made in Asia, it's made in Africa, like Tej, it's made in Europe, it's made in North and South America. Uh, really, so many cultures have found that fermenting honey makes something tasty. Mead is enjoying a kind of a resurgence in popularity. Um, it's thought to be one of the fastest growing beverages in the alcohol industry right now. I think a little bit in part due to the popularity of shows like Game of Thrones and some other uh, similarly styled and set um, uh, shows or movies. The word honeymoon comes from uh, an Irish tradition. Newlyweds were given enough mead to last them one lunar cycle following their wedding, and it was helped to promote virility and uh, their, enhance their libido while they were uh, newlyweds in the hopes of starting a strong family early on in their, in their marriage. So mead has been around for a long, long time. Um, I can't say that I've had it more than a couple of times, but I do like a sweet beverage, so you never know. Tej is kind of a generic word, and we couldn't really use that to name a brand, the same way we couldn't use car and call that a brand. What I've done is a little bit of research and found a word in Amharic, which is the language from Ethiopia. The word uh, meaning best is mirit, spelled using the English alphabet, that would be M-I-R-I-T. I'm gonna merge mirit with the word Tej, and kind of make up a word, uh, and it's going to be Miritej, M-I-R-I-T-E-J, and we're going to use that as our brand name for designing uh, the branding for a fictional brand of honey mead. I'll probably explore some ideas with um, bees or a honeycomb shape, that hexagon uh, shape. Um, that would be a, a logical kind of first step in the exploration of the visual identity here. I think there's interesting possibilities for the way the letters fit together uh, with the I's and the J and um, so we'll see what that shakes out like. Like usual, I'm going to start off with sketching some rough ideas on paper and then I'm going to jump into Illustrator, refine one of those ideas a little bit further and then I'll put together a few mock-ups to show what it'll look like in the real world.
I want to thank Squarespace for helping sponsor today's episode. They're a great supporter of the channel. And if you've ever had to design a website, you know that it can be a giant pain in the butt. It can be expensive. It can be cumbersome. It can be difficult and you still get lousy results. Um, Squarespace makes it a lot easier. They've got awesome templates. They're easy to use. It's quick to build a site that looks awesome. And uh, really, I can't say enough about Squarespace. If you want to try out a new website, I've got an affiliate link down in the description below here on YouTube. If you click that, you'll get 10% off uh, of your subscription with Squarespace. So thanks to Squarespace for helping support what we do here at Square Thunder. We both have the word square in our name, so I think that's a kind of cool symbiosis as well. Thanks Squarespace, and thank you for supporting the channel by clicking those links and subscribe to things that uh, give us a little bit of a referral back. Fast Logo Friday. My name's Aaron. Every week I design a logo based on a random weird word. Ever had Tej before? I haven't. I'd like to try it someday. Maybe it'll be Mirror Tej. If you've got a suggestion for a random weird word, type that in the comments down below to hear your suggestions. Hey, until next time, thanks for watching. Stay awesome.